Hello, everyone. Hold the phone here. We got the wrong one set up. There we go. That is some mundane action now. Uh, we got mundane versus Muskingum University. It is week eight here for the ECAC. Muskingum University over the past few seasons uh, slowly has become uh, one of our rivals here, specifically for the Madden team. And right off the rip there, going to get uh, throw out of the sack, actually. We got a mirror match with the Chiefs versus the Chiefs. And Post University is in the white jerseys playing away in this matchup right now. Slide that over there, and we are rolling. Wow, just like that, a touchdown from Muskingum University on the second play of the game. The first one was a forced throwaway, and the second one a touchdown to Marquez Valdez-Scantley. So all it took was 16 seconds to get this offense going. And going to be an uphill battle from here on out for Mundane. Let's get some audio in there so we could hear the crowd going crazy at Arrowhead. So time for uh, Mundane to respond. Good call for the fair catch there. So we'll uh, be starting at the 25 yard line. And a flag on the play. I'm not sure where that came from, but oh my goodness. A short pass there turns into a nice gain, and it's going to be offsides there for the defense. So still first and 10, but now at the 42-yard line. So huge chunk taken there on that first play from scrimmage. Sweepity, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here. Should be some good games on tap. We got... Mundane versus Muskingum University right now. And then coming up next, or at the same time, really, is Dimer versus Clark University. Uh, still waiting on a response from his matchup. So we'll jump in there as soon as I see a ball being kicked off. But for now, a sack on Patrick Mahomes. Muskingum University is going to get there. Chris Jones with the sack. And time to throw, and that pocket collapses. Able to throw it away, so not going to count as a sack. But third and 13 here. Oh, Kelsey's not going to get there. Back to the 49-yard line, or the opposing 49-yard line now. Fourth and two, we are going for it. Mundane knows. Cannot let this game get out of hand early. Got to make something happen here. And, oh, is he going to grab it? Yes, he is. Valdez Scantley. Beautiful pitch and catch right there. So down to the 27-yard line. And we're going to keep this drive alive. Nice throw to the outside there. Kelsey with some stick work. And we're going to get inside the 20, down to the 19 now. So far, only incompletion for Post University came off of that uh, almost sack with a bunch of pressure in his face, making good decisions here. Oh, he was open for a moment. Didn't see him until it was too late. Going to try to scramble out and throw it away. So third and two now. And it looks like we're getting some action there on Dimer's screen. So that matchup against Clark University should be starting momentarily. And we'll be switching to the double box for that one. All oh, the corners kind of pressed to the line here. And that's exactly what they were sniffing out. That was a great defensive play call here by Muskingum University. Fourth and three. 
And we bought both games up now. So after this play, touchdown, Post University. Beautiful right there. Now we can switch over to the double box. So on the left-hand side, we got Dimer versus Clark University. And on the right, we have Mundane versus Muskingum University. And then up top, you got me. You're welcome. All right. This, we haven't had this in a while. I'm excited. Oh, this is where I shine, folks. All right, Miko Hardman on the return here from Muskingum University. He's going to get it up to the 25-yard line on the left-hand side. Dimer playing as the Jacksonville Jaguars. He's going to try to roll out and is sacked at the 17-yard line. So not uh, too good of a start there on the first play from scrimmage for Dimer. Back over to our Muskingum matchup, Patrick Mahomes. Taking the snap, faking the handoff, and throwing an interception off a user lurk. What a play there by Mundane. So Post University is going to get the ball back at the 28-yard line. And so far, so good. Ever since that touchdown, this has been the Mundane Show. On the left-hand side, Trevor Lawrence is going to sneak that one in there and complete, but not enough for the first down. So fourth and nine on the right. Mundane rolling out to the right-hand side. He's going to find Rice on the sideline there, and he's going to pull that in. First and goal. All it took was one play. This is awesome. I miss doing this, folks. Oh, I might have to put the volume up on his game a little bit. Uh, let's switch to... Oop. There we go. Some issues with the audio for a second, but we'll pop, pop in just in time to see Christian Kirk down to the 49-yard line, and we're going to keep this drive alive off of a gamble and a half of a play. So Dimer showing up today, and Mundane is as well. Touchdown, Post University, back-to-back -back scores for us. And suddenly, we are in control of this game now against Muskingum University. A seven-point lead after that extra point. Right on the left, a second and six. And we're going to get a fake handoff. And we're going to throw it out to him anyway. And ETN's only going to pick up a couple or no, lose a couple. Wow, what a tackle there by Mundane. Came in like a Tomahawk missile. And he is down at the 20. So would have been better. Ooh, oh, fourth and in inches for the Jaguars on that one. Dimer found a little seam, but it wasn't just enough. And we're getting some lag or glitches or something now here. But still, that is not going to stop Mundane from getting to the quarterback. Not able to get the sack, but able to get enough pressure. And a QB sneak on the left is going to pick up the first down for Dimer. He refuses to let a drive end. That is two fourth down conversions here to start the game. And oh my goodness, in position for an interception. And instead, he's going to slap that into the future. I actually missed what that play was, but it looks like it was no gain. And wow, Rashid Rice is going to somehow somersault his way into grabbing that one. I don't know what is going on with this lag here. Uh, we may have to switch audio to our other game. I am not going to deal with that choppiness, but an eight-yard gain there for the Jacksonville Jaguars leaves Dimer with a third and second on the right-hand side all day to throw. Muskingham sitting there pretty in the pocket and you give him enough time and wow! He drops that. McDuffie on the coverage there forces a third and 22. On the left, a quick pass, a little too far led. Out of reach for his receiver. So that's gonna be another fourth down situation for Dimer to work through and Patrick Mahomes scrambling doing his best Lamar Jackson impression
So that is a massive pickup there. Muskingum University. This matchup so far has just been a, a, a it's like a knife fight. And on the left, Dimer gonna settle for the field goal, but still taking the lead here in the first quarter of this matchup. On the right, oh, defensive player in position. Almost an incredible catch by the receiver, but instead knocked away down at the 20 yard 29 yard line still. I English very well good. And Isaiah Pacheco not gonna find any room there. So third and 10. Still at the 29-yard line. And Mahomes is hit as he throws incomplete on the right. And Mahomes a completion there for Clark University. So they're going to get that up to the 42-yard line. That was a 27-yard pass. And whoa! Another user lurk interception there for Mundane. Oh my goodness, and wow, defensive player was there. Travis Kelsey on a streak there. Unable to pull it in, not enough oomph on that pass. But on the right, I mean, Mundane on offense again already here to start the second quarter. A beautiful interception by the defense. And Clark University has an open lane. No one's gonna get there. Touchdown, Clark University on that left-hand side. So taking the lead back up by three, pending this extra point now. And on the right, we're able to convert. So first down, down to the 24-yard line for Mundane versus Muskingum University. Extra point is up and good for Clark University. Patrick Mahomes in trouble, just gonna throw that one away. Live to fight another down. And Agnew gonna take this one out of the end zone. And not a lot of room to work with there, so he's down at the 23 yard line. On the right, Patrick Mahomes making some quick adjustments here. Mundane, a little bit of time here in the pocket. He's gonna roll out. Let me not say roll out, just kind of shift up the middle there. What a play there by the Clark University player. Oh. Not sure why that was considered a perfect accuracy throw. That always makes me laugh when it's so dangerously off target. And oh my goodness, could have been an interception there by Clark University on the left-hand side. Dimer getting real lucky with that throw. Third and 14 now from the 19. Feel like he plays better on the, uh, the third and fourth down than he does first and second. I don't know why, but he is a dangerous man with his back to the wall. And unfortunately, an interception there on that one and gonna be run back a pick six for Clark University. On the right, a touchdown for Muskingum University. Everything is going wrong at once here, folks. So Muskingum looks like they are about to tie it up pending that extra point and Clark University has taken an 11 point lead here early in the second quarter. So Agnew once again on the return here and similarly takes it out to the 23 yard line and the right hand side mundane just gonna take the touch back getting it at the 25 yard line. And ETN, ooh, little stick work there. This is what I need to see Dimer doing a little bit more been tough sledding here so far early in the game but all it's going to take is one of those run plays to pop and then suddenly defense has to start respecting the run. Dimer has has had some great 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 runs this season. 
So hopefully we can get ETN involved in the game a bit more. And Kirk on the sideline there. He's going to find his way up to the 44-yard line. And on the right, Isaiah Pacheco is going to pull that one in, but absolutely leveled. So only up to the 30-yard line. Third and five now for this Kansas City Chiefs offense led by Mundane. Both Post University players on offense, and there's a nice run by ETN, a nine-yard pickup. That is what we need to see. String a couple of those together. And a first down for Kansas City here. And another nice little run there. That is what we need to see. Make that defense respect this run game here. And we are going to get Mundane to snap the ball first. It's going to be a short pass to Isaiah Pacheco on the left. Trevor Lawrence rolling out for Dimer. And he finds Kirk. Beautiful pass right there. So he is it down at the 15 now. Mundane, on the other hand, taking the snap from the 44-yard line. And wow, beautiful Beautiful pass right there inside the 20, down at the 19. Marquez Valdez Scantley and a tough, tough run right there. Earned every bit of those four yards. On the right, wow. Some beautiful stick work there by Isaiah Pacheco. Able to kind of shift around some defensive players, making his way down to the 13 yard line. Second and four for Mundane. Oh, tough. Wow, oh, and he pulls that in. Touchdown, Post University. What a drive. Let's see if Dimer is able to match on our left-hand side. Well, now we're going to zoom in on. Oh, I never switched his game. We're going back to red zone. I had both of those swapped around early in the stream I apologize for that I do need to switch that back so let's see if I can do that real quick here Boom. and the field goal is up and good I a lot of people are gonna hate me for this but I do like that decision and oh my goodness Rashid Rice what a play right there. Kind of threads the needle and tries, but unable to get there. What a run there by Rashid Rice. Muskingum University, a massive play there. I usually don't get too excited when I see the opposition do something like that. What was that? That was a unique animation. Uh, but I usually don't get too excited seeing the opposition do a big play. But, I mean, that was... That was pretty cool to see. That was. And Clark University able to get the first down. A minute left on the clock in all three timeouts. And we're going to see a Mahomes scramble here. Rare but dangerous. 15-yard pickup just off of that. Both opposing players using the Kansas City Chiefs. And Mahomes, okay. Touchdown, Muskingum University. Fumble and recovery by Dimer. Clark University fumbles that one and gives up a touchdown. Wow, it's like two crazy things happened at the same time. I couldn't get the words out. What a play by both teams here. Touchdown for Muskingum University and touchdown for Post University. And the two-point conversion is good. And we got a tied-up game now. Dimer versus Clark University. And with one second left at the 40-yard line, going to have to be a Hail Mary play of some sort. And we're going to get a run that is almost immediately stuffed. Just a gain of two as we go into halftime here. 
in that matchup. All right, so I do have Dimer and Mundane's correct feed on both other pages. So if we need to zoom in for whatever reason, some crazy action is happening, we can do so now. And Mahomes gonna lead him on that one. A great play, 17 seconds left on the clock. Still trying to drive downfield and take this lead back before halftime. And oh, almost an interception right there, but that's going to break up the pass. So exactly what Dimer needed right there. Trying to maintain this tie going into the half. And pressure's going to get there. Patrick Mahomes hit as he throws, incomplete, fourth and 10. I don't quite think they're in field goal range. This is uh, Harrison Buckner is good, but not great. Oh, Dimer got more fans here in attendance. Welcome, Williams. And a handoff to Isaiah Pacheco there. He's going to get him the first down he needs. And wow, field goal was good. So Clark University going to take the lead going into the half. Dimer down 14 to 17. Oh, Mahomes able to get loose there. Great, great control and vision there for Mundane. Able to pick up the first down. And now at the 50-yard line. So on the right, the Kansas City Chiefs in the white are played by Post University. On the left, they're played by Clark University. This makes my job quite confusing. And a throw is completed. Wow, what a play. Mundane able to get it to the 30-yard line on the left. Clark University, a quick pass to Marquez Valdez-Scantley, and that's going to pick up the first down, down at the 17-yard line. Back over to the right, Mundane, an incomplete pass, but some offensive pass interference on Travis Kelsey. That is a play you don't see very often. I mean, a penalty you don't see very often. On the left, a handoff to Isaiah Pacheco, and he's going to fall forward. Unique decisions being made all around, folks. Let's see, and we get the snap by Mundane in his matchup, and Isaiah Pacheco almost leveled at the line of scrimmage. So third and seven, in, well inside field goal range. And Clark University not able to get their first down either. Third and second here. Dimer pretty good on defense. Let's see if he is able to prevent that. Wow! And a sack right there by Muskingum when they needed it most. And for Dimer, Clark University is going to get the pass off to Marquez Valdez-Scantley. I'm sorry, I say his name so often because it's fun to say. Marquez Valdez-Scantley. All right. So, field goal. Field goal lead is uh, could always be worse. Mundane just needs to play some killer defense right now and hold on. About a quarter and a half left to be played. And 
Jarek McKinnon on that run, six yard pickup. And, oh my goodness, that one thrown away. You know, we're seeing some defensive adjustments being made by Mundane. Both post university players on defense right now in their in their collective matchups. And oh my goodness, almost able to get around him instead. Ball is completed. Excellent pass there by the player from Muskingum University. I believe it's Lawrence from Muskingum University. And there's the interception I was looking for. Mundane, another interception here in this matchup. Hit stick, but holds on. Down to the 27-yard line, so already in field goal range. 43 seconds left in that third quarter. So back over to a Dimer's matchup against Clark University. We got a second and seven, and almost a play clock violation. But tough sled in a one-yard gain for Isaiah Pacheco. And this is a third and six situation. Oh, first down pickup for Mundane in his matchup. Player from Clark University trying to run it inside and unable to do so. Fourth and second. I, I, I think you got to go for it here if I was the player from Clark University. And, yep, they are going to go for it. I mean, at this point, you're no, not in a, really in a position to punt, not in a position to kick a field goal. I, I would go for it here at fourth and short. And unable to convert. Dimer. Going to get the ball back with great field goal position. And this is why it's a gamble. It's a decision to be made. And he is down at the seven yard line. Almost a touchdown off a rip there for Dimer. And a handoff to Strange. I believe that's their fullback slash tight end. And wow, Mundane now inside the five yard line. Both post university players sitting here inside the red zone, inside the five yard line. Oh, this is a screenshot right here. And Strange is gonna get there. Another handoff to the fullback. Touchdown, post university. And a handoff to Isaiah Pacheco isn't gonna have the same luck, but. Back to the three yard line, second and goal now. And Post University taking a four point lead against Clark University there on the left hand side of your screen. And on the right we get the handoff to Isaiah Pacheco who's gonna cut it in. Oh, so close, third and goal. I mean, this is the third and inches really. Needs to sneeze to cross the goal line marker here. Let's see what the play call is. Looks like we're gonna get another kind of RPO option. These have been the, uh, the go-to. And another handoff, and that is what it took. Touchdown, Post University. And now sitting on a comfortable lead here in the fourth quarter. Two minutes, 53 seconds left in the game. Both players possessing all of their timeouts. And Dimer, one defensive stop away from securing this game here. And folks, once these two games wrap up, do not go anywhere. These are a best of three series and both players are currently in game one. And great patience there by the player from Clark. I would have ran that. And instead, he's going to sit there behind the line of scrimmage and able to kind of wait until somebody shakes loose. So that's going to get him up to the 41-yard line. A field goal won't do it. Needs to score a touchdown with 112 left on the clock. And that's going to... Oh, no! Out of position there. Unfortunately, not able to get around the other defender. 
but that's going to put him down at the 20 yard line and a massive loss for Muskingum University and he's going to get that to Kadarius Tony. Is Reed able to get the tackle? He is. So down at the 43 yard line, we're seeing both opposing offenses come to life here late in the fourth quarter of each game. And wow, Valdez Scantley is going to pull that one in. Touchdown, Muskingum University. That was an incredible play right there, and Travis Kelsey's gonna catch this one, but get absolutely level down at the 11 yard line, 18 seconds left, and still two timeouts for Clark University. On the right, Muskingham unable to get complete that one. Back over to the left, intercepted! Dimer, what a play! User lurk, and that will be the end of that one. So we're going to focus in here on Mundane's game while we let them reset. What a way to close that one out. An incredible user lurk interception. He read that one the entire time. All right, so focusing now on Mundane versus Muskingum University. A rivalry matchup between our two universities, says me because we have played them many a time. So let's see if Mundane able to at least get this one into field goal range. Uh, I mean, a field goal really doesn't do too, too, too much in securing because they will still need a touchdown either way. At this point, you just want to run the clock out. So Isaiah Pacheco able to get there. And it looks like the player from Musk is going to call it. So wonderful, folks. Uh, two wins to start each game for Post University. It is a best of three series. So we're going to give them a moment to reset. And we'll be right back with some more Madden action. Uh, folks, an update from Dimer's matchup. It is a forfeit win for game two. Dimer has secured the W to close out the season, so he will not be back on stream. But fortunately, it is a full-on win for him. We got to witness some of his greatness, and he's ready to call it a night. So uh, for the rest of tonight, it is just me, you, and Mundane versus Muskingum University here. So we got a team switch up as he's trying to get a little flashy there. So I don't know what that was, but Mundane got him down at the six yard line. Let me change this here.
And Stefan Diggs gonna pull that one in. Shake a defender, shake another one, and what a gain there by Muskingum to start up this matchup. And wow, almost able to pull that one in. M Mundane saw what he was doing. And oh, Stefan Diggs gonna pull this one in as well. And he is gonna cross it. Touchdown, Muskingum University, a similar kind of outcome to his first drive of the last game. And we're gonna get a fake kickoff here. I mean, a fake extra point. And that is gonna be a two point conversion here to start this game. And a quick pass to Miko Hardman. And that's going to be just a three yard gain. Wow, Rashid Rice gonna pull that one in and bullied a little bit on the tackle. And Patrick Mahomes gonna get leveled there, a sack. Back to the 15-yard line, though could have been a lot worse. Patrick Mahomes, a quick pass to Travis Kelsey, and that will move it, move the chains. We got a first and goal now from the two-yard line. I swear if I stop talking a lot, I forget how to talk. But there's not always times where I need to talk like an auctioneer. So a quick handoff to Isaiah Pacheco, and that was all he needed. Touchdown, Post University. And we're going to see him go for the two-point conversion here to try to tie this game back up. And there it is, two point conversion is good and we are back to level eight to eight, Muskingum University versus Post University. And a short kick there, just doesn't want him to do the same stuff on the return. And instead we're gonna get it up to the 26 yard line.
And there it is. Pressure going to get there. Josh Allen sacked back at the 18-yard line for a second and 18. Wow. It's poetry. And we're getting a deep pass. Uncorking one to Diggs, and he's going to get tackled twice on that one. And incomplete. What an incredible defensive play. Not sure if that's my headset or the stream. Uh, that was a first down. I apologize. I got some weird feedback there on my headset. And incomplete, just kind of trying to throw it away. And some poor offensive lineman had to get pegged in the back with that ball. And that one, a loss. Third and 17 now. Mundane has done a great job of getting some pressure there when he needs to. Just unfortunately giving up big plays when it matters most. And Gabe Davis going to haul that one in. And Josh Allen trying to hurdle there on that play. And Josh Allen's going to find Diggs across the middle there. A little slant route, all he needed. Oh, you guys are getting this feedback too. Okay, so this might be the stream or something. Not sure why we're getting that. I apologize if you're hearing it. And Buffalo first and goal here. Everyone kind of rolling to the right. And no one able to haul that one in. Touch the hands of two Bills receivers. Heimer roll, trying to prevent him from rolling out. And Josh Allen throws that one away. Let's see if the defense can hold strong. Forcing a field goal here would be huge. And Josh Allen trying to run it himself. Not going to really gain anything. Still at the two-yard line, and we're not going to get a field goal attempt here. Muskingum University wants it all or wants none of it. And fumble. And recovered. So that is going to be a turnover on downs. Post University gets the ball back here at the one-yard line. 99 yards to go. And we're going to switch up to a run play. Last thing he wants is to give up a safety here in this position. And wow, Rashid Rice pulling that one in. Trying to shake Boyer loose. Let's see if he's able to. No! Another player comes in from behind for the tackle. And that was a massive play there. What a splash made by Mundane. Inside the 20, down to the 19-yard line. Talk about a turn of events. Seconds ago, the Buffalo was on the two-yard line, ready to score. And a turnover on downs, and two plays later, 
is all it took. Post University taking the lead back. And a penalty on that uh, defensive team or defensive unit is declined in favor of the extra point being good. So eight to 15 here, that was a really unique catch animation. And we're gonna get a handoff to James Cook, who will convert, get the first down there. And James Cook out of the backfield, gonna catch this one and picking up about 13 yards. And another pass out of the backfield to James Cook. So the little engine that could here, James Cook, little brother of Dalvin Cook, kind of being the workhorse here on in the run game and the pass game for the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen rolling out and he's gonna find Stephon Diggs on the sidelines. And after breaking a couple of tackles, he'll be inside the 15 down to the 12. And oh my goodness, I was ready to say it. Instead, incompletion, Gabe Davis unable to pull that one in, in the end zone there. So second and 10 now from the 12. And wow, Gabe Davis leveled again. When the field gets shorter, the, the defensive uh, players really show up here for Mundane, at least thus far. Let's see if they're able to hold on. And able to convert first and goal there at the one yard line now, 49 seconds left. That was a great play there by Muskingum University. And Josh Allen dropping back once again, and another user lurk! Oh my goodness, all series, wow! What a play there by Mundane. So, and with the touchback, we're gonna get that one at the 20 yard line. So 44 seconds left to move 80 yards. Absolutely possible. All three timeouts available. Mundane, this is all you, boo boo. And there it is, beautiful play. Gets it to the 47 yard line. Already on the other side of the 50 in the opponent's side of the field. And he's going to thread the needle, but unable to hold on. Going to be knocked out, so still back to the 47-yard line. A score here would be massively deflating for the Muskingham University player. And another play. And a first down, Isaiah Pacheco out of the backfield. So now sitting pretty in field goal range. But Mundane wants more than a 10 point lead. And a user lurk to return the favor. Damar Hamlin, everyone knows that name. On the return, able to get there. Pick 
six for Muskingum University. And just like that, in an instant, the narrative can change so quickly. And we are tied at 15. I think both players are uh, kind of resetting their expectations after that. That was a wild chain of events these past two quarters. We're going to get the fair catch called for. And Isaiah Pacheco unable to get around the corner there, but still a nice gain of seven yards. And that one complete to Kelsey, but nowhere to go with it. And we are in the second quarter now, folks. And a fair catch called for. So Post University gets the ball back here to start this half. And a almost first down, second and in inches now. This little feedback in my headset is throwing me off so much. I'm gonna lower the volume here. And Isaiah Pacheco gonna get this one, uh, this handoff and gets it all the way up to the 46 yard line. I think it stopped. Nope, it's back. I'm gonna have to do this without my headset. I can't. You guys at least have some of the audio. Let me know if there's too much feedback there. And a beautiful pass to Miko Hardman there on the sideline. We're going to get that one to the 33-yard line now. So this offense is a moving. Some weird adjustments to what looks like a Hail Mary play. And Rashid Rice going to get this one, but not a lot to work with. A gain of two. right back folks it looks like we're having some connection issues there from the opponent
There we go. Um, so a little bit of a good news, bad news situation. Good news is that is game. Mundane wins. We have beaten Muskingum University in week eight to close out the season. Both Dimer and Mundane winning in their matchups. Unfortunately, we won't see any more action tonight as that is considered a forfeit win for us. Uh, looks like there was a connection issue by the opposing player at Muskingum University. So we will be calling it, um, unfortunately. But look forward to the future as we got some amazing playoffs ahead of you. A uh, bunch of the teams from Post University, including both of our Madden players, made it to the playoffs this season. So uh, we'll be back not next week. I believe there is a bye week next week, but the week after with plenty of playoffs action across all of our various teams. So if maybe Madden's not the game for you, you can come watch one of our other, some other great esport athletes put some work in. But I have been Slap Donuts. You have been amazing. Thank you for watching a uh, incredible performance. We didn't see a single loss by Post University. And uh, I'm okay with that. So see you all when I see you all.